Trey Tane. It's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with Benny Dorn, season two, episode eight. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe to the channel, ring notification bell, the video up, thumbs up, so it gets suggested. Oh my God! Oh, yes. So the strange disgusting. to catch the back of your throat, but if you're not downwind of them, it's very pleasant. Just think this time tomorrow you'll be Mrs. Mel Harvey. I'm not changing my first name. No, no, that's just the way we'll be invited to functions, Mr. and Mrs. Mel Harvey. Oh, what functions will we be invited to? Just you wait, Madge. <laughs> Just you wait. Those are my knees. Hmm. Thank God for that. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, I'm knees. fine. <gasps> You're not still worrying about your mum, are you? She's 68 and she's getting married tomorrow. Yeah, well, she's old enough to know what she's doing. <laughs> she is. Definitely that. I hope so. Talking about being old enough to know what you're doing. Come here. Hey, 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 don't wait the kids. Oh. Mag, would you mind if I put my arm around you? No, of course not. You're a very handsome woman, you do know that, don't you? Handsome woman? I ain't never heard that. Beautiful. But now that's a woman. Managed to keep my figure, I suppose. You've done more than that. Yeah, that's it. What the bloody hell? Oh, sir. Come on, get on with it. I've only got a bit of tape left. What the hell are you playing at? What am I Who's playing that? at? What about you? You're the ones on Doggers Beach. Doggers? What? People having sex in public. Well, don't tell me you didn't know. Oh. Match! Mel! What a lovely surprise seeing you here. Jesus Christ, I might have known you'd be here. Hello! Oh, we've not missed any action, have we? No, I think the one in the wheelchair is a bit shy. Oh, you did know this was a dogging beach, didn't you? We don't even know what dogging is. Well, it's happening all around you. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh my Lord! Oh my Jeez. God! What am I looking at? I can't see anything. Thank well, God for that. Your stomach's a bit dicky at the best of times. Come on, Princess. You bloody pervert. I can hear a squelching noise. Come on, we're off. Animals, a lot of you. Oh dear. Oh well. Up for a threesome? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my lord, bro. This is wild. Martin. No, don't say anything. Could I? No, seriously. I know why you left me. It was to get some space. That's exactly what I'm going to give you. I'll be by the pool. But I? No. Would it? Ah. Could I? Ah. Have a cup of tea. <laughs> How are you feeling? Rough as a dog's ass. Yeah, he looked a bit worse for wear when Chantel brought you home last night. What time did I get in? Oh, I can't remember. It was late. I think she said you'd both been watching telly. 
in her apartment while her family were out. I don't remember that bit. I think watching telly was, um, what do you call it? A euphemism. No. What do you call it when you want to use another word for having sex? I'm going to lie down. All right, son. What's that? Cardi and Coke. It's ten o'clock in the morning. I know, exactly. Only 15 hours of free drinking left. Morning, boys. Oh, morning, Gavin. How are you feeling? Have you heard from your mum? Not yet, no. Oh. You're off to the wedding today? We hardly had a chance to say hello to her. Nice day for a wedding, isn't it? I mean, one minute she's there, next minute she disappeared. Not a cloud in the sky. If it were me, I'd be worried I'd said Jesus. something to offend her. You know, marching off without even... Sorry, Jacqueline, can I stop you there? Thank you. We had a bit of a run-in with Madge and her gentleman friend on the beach last night. What, you went on the beach after Neptune? Oh, yes, it's quite a tradition in Benidorm. It's not everybody's cup of tea, but we always take our video camera down there. Always something interesting to film, if you know what I mean. Are you serious? Oh, yes. Uh, one year, Jacqueline and I got someone to film us recreating the famous love scene from uh, that movie. Oh, what is it called? Free Willy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I had to do it like that. <laughs> Free Willy? No. What was it? Uh, For me geez. to return it, sir. Bloody hell. And you say Madge and her boyfriend were down there last night? Yes, they didn't last long. Although we did meet a very nice Welsh chap, didn't we? Oh, yes. He lasted a lot longer. Toto, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. <laughs> Definitely not in Kansas anymore. Who is it? It's Meg. What do you want? Here comes the bride, six inches wide. Here comes the vicar, wearing women's name. Do you mind? Yeah, bit of Dutch courage. What are you doing here? Well, I just came to say hello. See if you need any help. Where's Madge? Downstairs, getting a last minute suntan. <laughs> and I'll have no wise cracks from you, thank you very no, much. No, no, it'll, uh, it'll do her good to get a bit of colour. I'm not sure what colour there is left for it to go, but, uh... <laughs> sorry. Sorry, just, uh, just a joke. Well, here we are then. The day of the wedding. <laughs> Have you just come up here to state the obvious? Personally, I've got better things to do. No, no, I, I just wanted to say, you know, um... It's not too late for you to back out. You've got ten seconds to leave this room. No, don't get me wrong, I don't mean cancel the wedding, just... Postpone it. Why will we do that? Well, Madge has only known you four weeks. We only met you just over a week ago. I think we should spend a bit more time to get to know you, that's all. Sit down. Make sure I agree with him. I definitely agree with him. What do you want to know? Well, we know you've got a couple of sunbed shops. But uh, apart from that... My full name is Melvin Churchill Harvey. I was born an only child in Leeds on Christmas Day, 1939. I opened my first bakery in Kirkstall in 1962. My only wife died in 1979. No children. By 1992, I have 14 sandwich shops, which I sold for 1.8 million when I retired in 2005. Jesus opened a sunbed shop in 2006 for something to do. Six months later, I have five shops, and I'm currently considering an offer from a multinational fitness club to buy me out. What else do you want to know? What are we doing sitting here? Mattering <laughs> on like a pair of old women when you... You should be getting ready for the happiest day of your life. Which is what I was doing. My boy heard that 1.8 mil. I said... How much? You're, you're a millionaire?
Huh? Say, hold up, hold up, hold up. No kids? Now that money coming to us when you pass. Oh, okay. Hey, yeah, yeah. You need to be getting ready for the obvious day in your life right now. Why, why are we sitting here talking? I know everything I need to know. It's time to get married. The tour is interrupted. Yeah, I'm going to leave you now to get on, but... If you need anything, anything at all, you just give your old son a last shout, yeah? Very kind, I'm sure. Three o'clock on the beach. That's right. Don't bother coming and get me. I'll make me on my way down there. All right. I'll see you later then. Dad. Dad? <laughs> Tell, does this look all right for during the day? Yeah. You're not even looking. Trust your nana to get married with ten minutes notice when nobody's got anything decent to wear. Come on, tell. Need to get changed. I've told her twice I'm not wearing that dress. It's your nana's wedding day. Her and Bella bought it for you to wear. Yeah, well, there's two reasons why I'm not wearing it. Oh. Look who I found outside. Tanning her beautiful golden skin in the Mediterranean sun. The blushing bride herself. Oh, what my lord. Look? Come on, man, what are you playing at? It's two o'clock. We had to come the long way round. Didn't want to bump into Mel. It's bad luck for him to see me before the wedding. He's marrying you. How much bad luck can one man have? Hi. Ah, ah, he's marrying you. How much bad luck can one man have? That's enough cheek from you. I've never seen a better suited couple. I'll be through in a minute, man. Are you pissed? Oh, what makes you say that? Well, you've spent the last 16 years winding my mother up. Now, you're all over. I have just found out that our future father-in-law is a multi-millionaire. You're taking the piss. Oh, no. Oh, no. So you can tell your mother that I'll wear the friggin' bridesmaid's dress if it'll make her happy. <laughs> you're going to help me with this dress. I'm coming, Mum. Oh, my God. Where is the money? Don't call me honey. Yeah, da 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 I was gonna get here early. He was rapper and team to what? He works in the gay bar in York Town on a weekend. The local vicar works behind the bar in a crib, bro. No, no, no. He don't work behind the bar. He is the drag act. Very good. Mel! Hey, what a spread! I knew you wouldn't let us down, Dad! Who's Ben? Who's Ben? Take it, piss. You know what happened. I took it off because it was annoying me. No risk, man. No entry. Hey. Come on, sort the lot of them. Right. Hey. Uh, I might just go in for one glass of champagne. Would you mind, son? I do suffer so good wedding. Oh, thank you, though. Hey. Unbelievable. That's sad. Just go get your wristband on and hurry back down, man. That's sad. And the people are carried away with such romance. Ole, ole. The wedding sound. Well, you've got to hand it to them. They've done it in style. It was lovely, isn't it? What was your wedding like? Oddly enough, nowhere near as camp as this. Excuse me, darling. My God. I think I might actually love that at all. Tell! Tell! That's just your wrist on. I can't get in. What? So you can get pissed and fall asleep again? Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I, I think I must have had my drinks, mate. I'm actually East Lancashire's real ale drinking champion. Do you know? It's funny how you're champion at all sorts, but you can't actually do anything. You're Dang. an expert on most subjects. But you don't really know anything. Dang. I know I was probably crap in bed. But I don't remember anything. Which is odd, 
because you're probably Slankish's memory champion as well. I can memorize 60 random objects. Really? <laughs> you're probably the memory champion as well. I can memorize 60 random objects. Well, that's fascinating. And I'll tell you something else interesting, Jeff. We didn't sleep together. Just because I'm a teenage single mum doesn't mean I'm a slag. A bit like, even though you know all the capitals of the world, it doesn't make you an interesting person. Dang. Quarter past three. Don't worry, she'll be here. Hope she's not had second thoughts. You're not the only one. Can she walk or can't she? If I walk down... He said I'm confused. Can she walk or can't she? Yeah, I'll bring you to the light. Dearly beloved, Jesus, the vicar's got more makeup on than me. Here on this wonderful sunny afternoon, I'm between shows to witness the marriage of Mel and Madge. It is at this time that I would like to say a few words on behalf of. Shall Mel we sit and together? Madge. I'm on my own as well. Oh, yes. Okay. During this gay musical that we call life. I heard your wife left you. I am sorry. Well, she didn't exactly leave me. She just needed some space. Oh, I see. Well, I suppose. Uh... Mel and Madge have been lucky enough to find each other during life's closing number. Jesus. He's pushed the boat out here. This must have cost him a fortune. Don't worry. There's plenty more where that came from. <laughs> If any one person here present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, then he or she should declare it now. Janice! Hey, who's that? It's your last chance. I've got, I've got my car with me. We can go anywhere you want. God dang, bro. Jesus, you're kidding. You're kidding me. Elf! He's gonna ruin it all. Did someone order a taxi? Jesus Christ. It's that lad from last night. If you won't come with me, just give me one more kiss. I can't stop thinking about you. Get rid of him. Okay. Janice! Janice! One more? I don't think he's all there. I think he might have learning difficulties. He'll have fucking walking difficulties if he comes anywhere near me. Uh, shall we continue? Yes, let's. Do you, Madge Delilah Barron, take Melvin Churchill Harvey as your lawful wedding What was husband? all that about? To have I don't know. To hold what did he mean? Hold another kiss? I honestly have no idea. Or in hell, to love and to cherish till death do you part. I do. Do you, Melvin Please don't die. Church? You better not die right now before you say I do, man. Still Harvey. Kate, I know I've handled this situation badly, but people make mistakes. Martin, I've been to see someone this morning. She's Lord. pregnant! She's Adopt pregnant! Oh my God, She's pregnant! I'm pregnant. But when did we... The night of the arm wrestling match. But we were told I couldn't give you a baby. People make mistakes. <laughs> to love and to cherish till death do you part. Yes! Oh. <laughs> oh. Sorry.
to love and to cherish till death do us part. <laughs> you know what did I say? I hope he does not die before he says I do, bro. Oh my god. He said I do, I heard him. Hey, that was lucky, wasn't it? Get out of the way, you idiot. Mel, Mel, can you hear me? Oh, my God. That's it. I've lost him. That big fat lump tried to kill him the last time. He's done it now. Oh, what am I going to do? His feet are moving. <gasps> He's yeah. alive. His feet are moving. He's not dead. Come on, Dad. You can make it. Don't go towards the light. Whatever you do, don't go towards the light. Uh, Come on, Mel, you could do it. Uh, She's alive! Uh, Come on, someone get the vicar. Let's get this wrapped up. What do you think you're doing? You should go to hospital. Look, I really think you should go to hospital. This man has waited all his life to meet the woman of his dreams. Get that vicar here now! God damn. Read fast. Do you, uh, Melvin Churchill Harvey? Who are you? That's the vicar, Mel. You've had a bump on the head. Who are you? Oh, shit. Mel, Mel, don't panic. It'll all come back to you. You remember Madge, don't you? <gasps> What's happening? Where am I? This isn't Lytham St. Thousand. He's lost his memory from the bash in the head. Hey. I've seen this happen before. Oh, yes. A, oh. a friend of ours, Gay Derrick. Once got concussed by the buckle of a leather harness. That's right, didn't know his own <laughs> name. Her over by the buckle of a leather harness. <laughs> and then in a freak accident during an advanced step class, he managed to kick himself in his own head. Memory came back, just like that. Mel, come and sit down for a minute. Oh, 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 oh. Jesus! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Do you think you're playing hard? I was trying to get his memory back. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to get his memory back. Lock him up and throw away the bloody key. What are you doing? I was trying to help him. But the only family he's got. Sorry. I didn't mean to cause a scene. Get that little shit away from my wife. Damn it. Damn it. Suggestion. You can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. See what you need. Out.